Hello everybody! Um, it's been a while since I made a video, but like, I've been like caught up with stuff. I got a lot of work in school. Um, but I got back into Minecraft and I started playing a mod pack called All The Mods 9. It's pretty self-explanatory. Literally all the mods, it's, there are a lot of mods. Um, but anyways, a lot of people get easily confused in this mod pack because there's so much stuff and they don't know some of the stuff so i think i can help out with that yeah i think i want to jump into it so there's not a set goal for this like i guess series but i do want to you know start off simple and then we can get into you know i wanted to get into mechanism and reactors and productive bees and get get over here get over here all right, so I took a little break to make this farm here. Basically, I followed uh, Alfred GG's guide on how to make the nine by nine really broken mystical agriculture farm. So basically, I just fill out a nine by nine dirt section. I put red fertilizer on all of it. And then on the sides, I put stairs, waterlog them and put lily pads of fertility on the sides. Then uh, in the nine by nine underneath, you make water and put lily pads there as well. Uh, lily pads of fertility then uh, above the block in the middle you put a slab then you put a modular router that has a supremium scythe and an activator module that goes up and down with some speed upgrades so that you know it gets all of this and all of this i like to fill out the bottom before doing the top and then you have the supremium watering can with an uh that just clicks this and waters everything and then three uh, modular routers with vacuum modules with rage up augments uh, it might be overkill but like there's a lot of stuff here this is a really fast farm and then all of it's using pipes to go into an ender chest and here we go so this ender chest filters into a network receiver which I right click with a network card that I put next to a network transmitter with my entire setup so I'll show you guys how to do this entire thing it's actually really simple to make this entire setup. First, we want to start with our controller. I'm gonna just pop that down there. Uh, and then we want to grab our disk drive. Uh, you will not have a 1 billion storage disk. Fair warning, you're not gonna have that. It, it's just, you're not. So you're gonna grab a disk drive. You're gonna place it right next to it. Throw in whatever storage disk you have if you have it. And then I, you can power this with a flux point if you make it. Uh, right now I'm using creative energy here. In the future, uh, I'll show you how to make reactors with this auto crafting. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna use creative energy. Uh, then on top, we're gonna put a crafting grid and that'll be enough for now. So I can just throw this and this, this up there. Uh, next up, we're going to, we're gonna wanna grab some cables so I think I'll put this receiver right here uh, you grab a network receiver and fair warning these are expensive these are extremely expensive which is why I set up this entire farm uh, this farm consists of rubber essence which I can use to turn into silicone uh, redstone essence diamond essence iron essence nether quartz essence dirt essence for glass stone essence flax seeds um i use flax to what's it called make a uh, flax string and then netherite essence fire essence glowstone essence wood essence enderman essence i don't mention this because i'm dumb but get gold essence and slime essence too because you need that so all of those I make because these processors, the machine casing, the like literally refined storage takes a lot of resources. And that's why you should, you know, try to have that. Um, in this farm, if you don't have enough space in those, uh, you can momentarily use a chest with a bunch of stack upgrades, a sophisticated storage chest with stack upgrades and void upgrades. Or you can use drawers. I like drawers a lot. I'll, I'll show you my base later so you can get an idea. But we have this uh, network receiver. So I can throw this there. Grab a network transmitter, which uh, similar recipe, but different. 
Um, the nether, ah, uh, no, goodness. The network transmitter requires a network card. Here we go. So if you shift right click your network receiver and place your transmitter on your crafting grid, you can throw this network card in there. And as you can see, this lit up, meaning that this is now like you can use this now. So you're going to want to use a cable. And with this cable, get a crafting manager, plop that down there, crafting monitor, and a pattern grid. Then you'll want to grab the base tier crafter if you don't have it yet. Here we go. Just grab a regular crafter because you will definitely not have uh, the actual crafter yet because the netherite crafter. Because look at this one crafter. Is quartz enriched iron enriching casing processors, construction core, more processors. Um, and this by itself takes a lot. Uh, so you're going to have to use this crafter for the meantime. Uh, but you can just keep progressing iron, di gold, diamond, and then netherite. What did I just press? Yeah, netherite. It's really expensive. But in the meantime, you could just use like three of these if you want. Then, what I like to do is have a smelting area too. So, I just plop down cables right here and move into a crafter. Oops, crafter facing up. We always want the crafter to face up. Then we gra grab a chest. By the time you get to this, you will definitely have enough for a at least an iron chest. So, I'll grab an oak iron chest. Then I can grab a furnace and then throw down a, uh, grab this factory upgrade um, and throw it on top, throw the factory upgrade on. And then I can use a flux point to power it, put it on my network. This is now powered. I'll turn on auto split, turn on auto input and auto output. Bottom will be my input. The back will be my output. This is only because on the back we'll put in an importer that we will throw here. Grab some cables and bam. We just set up literally the entire thing. Like this is this is basically it. One thing I will mention is this ender chest similar to how we hooked up that furnace we can use an importer i use an ultra importer because this is the fast this is basically the fastest setup um you can use ultra importer an ender chest and then throw that into your network receiver like just plug it into your cables and it'll just send all the resources into the disk drive that you have here obviously it won't be one one billion so yeah so here's a little demonstration uh this setup has literally no what's it called resources on it but this one does so i'll just show you how it works by the way this is a wireless transmitter with the dimension card because i got lazy and didn't want to use my uh <laughs> i don't want to come back so i just made a crafting grid but so here i can click in here and as you can see there's like nothing there right <laughs> because i'm an idiot then we can go to the pattern grid we have so much of this stuff. Let's say I want to craft a diamond, regular diamond, just a diamond. Press the diamond, press move items. Now this is going to be checked. Make sure you uncheck it. Uh, it doesn't matter for this one, but for future recipes, it does matter. Now I grab this diamond. Now in the crafter that is right next to your setup there, you can just throw in your diamond pattern. And if I go in here, and I can request like 64 diamonds. It gives me that. It's not gonna be as fast if you have the early game one, uh, but with one like this, where you just a netherite crafter, you will get stuff really fast. Another thing we can do is craft glass. So um, you can see here, I got fire essence and I got dirt essence. The reason I have that is because I want to use sand to make glass. So we look up the sand recipe here, click that in. I can press this and it'll give me the pattern, which I have right here, two dirt essence and fire essence. I can throw that in this crafter 
and then I can look up the recipe for glass. Oops, that's not it. <laughs> for glass, I can just go to here. It will go to processing automatically, I hope. Um, if it doesn't, just press processing. You press create. And then in the crafter that is under your chest, you can just throw in the pattern. Here we go. Let's just show you. Let me show you. Um, if I just take out all this glass and sand, okay, um, then I can press 64. It'll craft the sand with what I have. Then it'll craft the glass. So, oops, uh, it goes really fast, but that's basically how it works. Welcome to the laggiest thing you've ever seen. This is my survival world, and um, goodness, my god, okay. Uh, I have done a lot of things in this world. Basically, I have an Inferium farm, I have Nether Star farm, I have a uh, Dragon Egg, and then this is so much stuff I, I actually don't, like, really know. If you want just, like, a quick glimpse into my setup, this is my mob spawner, and the seeds and the essence that goes there is sent through an ender chest into the storage controller, which is used as an external storage for in, uh, from my network receiver, which I put. And I can link all these drawers uh, to that external storage. I've got void upgrades, three copper upgrades, and a netherite upgrade in every single one. And that puts 8.4 million of each item in every single drawer. So in total, I have 122 billion uh, space in here. This is for individual items. And then this is also how I use refined storage. I have tons of netherite crafters. There's just so much stuff in here. It's just insane. And then I have the mechanism set up here, which I use these enriching, infusing, and compressing, crushing factories with the crafters. So just some quick insight on what we'll be doing. I'm in the ether right now, and I actually need full sunlight all the time to be able to make all this stuff. So I have eight nitro power reactors uh, achieved with auto crafting. I use auto crafting to make every single block here. No, like, like actually no joke, except these, like these quantum entanglement porters. You see so many of them here. Like that's with auto crafting. And this still isn't enough actually. So I need to upscale and. This is just a glimpse into what we'll be doing, what I'll be showing you in the future. This is mostly mechanism stuff, like none of it involves bees. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys that so you get an idea of what we can achieve with what we're doing and how you can make your, I guess, your world better. Actually, an entire thanks to Alfred GG. Like I use his tutorial for this, this, this. I use Chosen Architect's tutorial for that, but I used to speed run to look for this stuff. So uh, huge thanks to him. I'll put his channel in the description and actually the uh, mystical agriculture farm tutorial as well. Now I did all this because fortunately for you, I'm not really human. As we progress further, as we get through everything, I'll show how to make mechanism reactors, productive bee stuff. And someone suggested I do this. Someone suggested that I really really take it far and get into greg tech uh it's gonna be this is probably gonna like if i do get into it it's gonna be the hardest thing i've probably ever done in a game just because greg tech is insanely difficult and tedious uh i think i read somewhere that like the longest element name was i don't even know i don't even know uh but eventually i'll do that for you guys if you want to see any more like tutorials please just comment or just ask <laughs> uh, I did get this request on reddit actually which is kind of surprising so yeah I hope you enjoy it and uh, I really hope you want to see more of these tutorials because uh, it's like the first video of it and you know I think just tutorials are more of my suit as per my channel uh, so I really hope you guys have a nice night and uh, see you another time goodbye